Welcome to another episode about Venep, episode number 27. In this episode, we are going to create a bar highlighting chart. It seems not to be something in interesting or different, but look at this. In the left side, we have the, the bar um, native from the Power BI visuals. If I click here, one, two, three, four. The cross highlighting or cross filtering is activated. Maybe, I mean, uh, besides our configuration or, or the time of the, of the type of the configuration which are set. At. But look at the uh, bar highlighting chart from Dana. Did you see that that the stroke is active when I uh, the, when the cursor is on the bars, and also with control. One, two, three, four. We change the color. Very interesting because we can set the visualization or, or, or the attention of the people to uh, a specific visual. At least we also we can spotlight to uh, change the op uh, change the opacity of the all of the all the visuals in the report or da or dashboard. But also we can create something like this. It's very interesting. I mean is uh, there are new options for us to con configure uh, this kind of uh, behaviors and remember so remember that uh, we can import this uh, specification in Danep. i am going to use month and users users or any quantitative measure or call or column and i am using these two types uh, date field and a user fields a quantitative um, field um, link it to the calendar table so I, I am using month and users click on edit um, import from template select the JSON in the web page of sentidoanalytica.com you will see in the category and in the blog post from Deneb 26 not 27 this uh, specification copy save it as a, as a JSON uh, import it here you will see this description bar chart with highlighting on hover and in Spanish also. This is my email if you have any um, um, interesting kind of graph uh, so we can see it or try to replicate for here in Danep. Select the month, user or quantitative measure or any measure or column created. Boom, that's it. This is the only thing you have to do. You are going to see all the code from the specification and the config. So let's start it with this. I, I'm going to create this very fast. First, this is from here. Bar chart with highlighting on hover and selection on click. This is from the Vega Light samples, the documentation. This is all the, the, all the documentation on the uh, script. If you copy and paste it here uh, to, to Deneb, you will see this graph. Uh, when I click, I, I use the, the cursor or, on, or on, on the top of the bar chart, you, you will see that a little stroke in black is not more, much uh, evident to see, but it's, it's there. And also with shift, I will click and I, I, can, I can do that the, the same behavior from Power BI, but with control. But in this specification, uh, the, the parameters, and he didn't use his, this here, this select uh, specification, because the selection I will configure it or see, con configure it here in Danep with the cross filtering specification. So this, this part of the code, I didn't use that. And also the condition uh, here, this condition, I didn't use also this. So. Let's start reading all the code to see how do we um, configure this kind of interesting behavior like this and also like this. We start with the data set. This, uh, this, is, um, uh, this is maybe it's a constant in the, in the most uh, cases. First, here we have uh, par uh, parameters. The name of the parameters is highlight. Um, this select is an operator. This is important to read because when you are trying to create something here in Danep or using Vega Light, you have to read a lot from the documentation from Vega Light. 
This is the page from the selection parameters, and I, I am using the stroke width operator, okay? Also, you have to read the cross-filtering cross or cross-filter in the selection from the documentation from the DNAP because some uh, several behaviors from DNAP is not the same or you can read it from the uh, documentation from Vegalite. So you have to to, to read um, the both of documentation at, at, the same at, at the same time. The time of selection is, is called a point on mouse over. This mouse over it, it means that when I hover the mouse over the bars, will activate that stroke. It is a stroke more, more with a width from uh, four pixels. Here I, I close the parameters, then I will create the bar, this is the color, this is the stroke of the mark, bar. The encoding from S is the field month, this is the sort, January, February, March, blah, 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 blah. The scale with the padding from 0.4. Then we have uh, Y, the field user, your, or your measure, or column, or any quantitative uh, value, type quantitative. Here we close uh, the, the encoding from S and Y. Then here I am calling the parameter with the stroke width configuration. Then we have the condition, and then and the condition is the parameter which I am calling is highlight empty and em, uh, vacío or, or empty is false. This is the the, 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 the behavior of, of, of four. If I choose, for example, ten, look, is more more uh, the, the the width of the stroke is more um, uh, greater. In four here or fourteen no four. If I set the value uh, by by zero, you will see nothing. But if I set, for example, to one, you will see a little stroke. You see that, okay? So I think it's interesting to set up from zero. Then we have the opacity. This opacity is from the cross filtering documentation. This is this part is not from the Vega Light documentation. You have to read it. Also, I have. Um, a video in this series about cross filtering. I will set uh, share it from here in the same videos. It's called cross filtering, where the condition this is a if if this is a if um, this is a, a, a if function in that if the field is, is selected equals off, then I will choose 0 0 0 0 0.3. If I click here, one two three, this 0 0.3 it seems it means that these bars will be at this kind of behavior visually if i change this to zero you will see nothing so this is mean that the percentage of the opacity okay also we have a field because when i click here this how we configure the change of the color from purple to to yellow using this is the same pattern if you see this look it's the same pattern but here we are changing the opacity okay equals off at, at 0.3 and here we are changing the fill of the bar okay if equals on on it means that i i am clicking on the bar and the value is yellow if i click on the value i mean it, it, the the field can the, the field selected is equal on uh, click on the on the bar it will change to yellow in the in the different or the opacity configuration is if the selected value from the DNAP configuration is equal to off it will has a 0 0.3 0 0.3 value so this is it is very 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 interesting uh, configuration it seems that we can create something very interesting or uh, i mean interactive here using then also in power bi so this is it we are keeping students about denep and vega light here in power bi